imagine going up there when it's hundreds of degrees and not knowing whether or not you're going to come out or not. People stepped up today to honor the first responders who died on 9-11. Good evening, I'm Brendan Morano. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. 110 flights of stairs. That's what the men and women in uniform climbed in the World Trade Center on 9-11. 23 years later, community members are doing the same thing in Decatur to remember those who lost their lives. WCI3's Gabriella Miranda was there and is with us now. Gabby. Jennifer, it was such a powerful thing to see people taking time out of their day to do this climb. Organizers told me it started years ago with just a handful of first responders, but now community members, student groups, and even entire businesses are showing up to honor the first responders who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Well, when it happened, I was nine years old and in the fourth grade, and it was one of my most formative experiences. Uh, waking up one morning and seeing the buildings coming down on the television. Those were the memories that flooded back to Charles Durst during his climb. Around his neck, the picture of a first responder who died on 9-11. You can see all the pictures on the wall out there of all the men and the women that we, we simply can't forget and we, uh, we can't let something like that ever happen again to our country. The Decatur Mount Zion Hampton Inn has hosted the memorial climb for the last five years. Manager Britt McKinney has been a firefighter for a decade, so the climb is especially impactful for him. We're getting into uh, a generation now that is learning about this event in, in textbooks. And so if we can create what I like to call a living memorial where people can come and feel the, the emotions of that day and, and take time out of their day to remember, I think that's something that's really important. Participants of all ages ran 28 laps up and down the four-story hotel, some in full firefighting gear. This tradition ensures the memory of 9-11 never dies. I want it to be a day of remembrance in honor of all the people who lost their lives. And so that's been our goal from the beginning, to make sure we keep our promise that never forget never expires. The climb is still going on until 7 p.m. tonight. They expect between four and 500 people to finish it. When it's over, a parade of fire trucks, police cars, and ambulances will drive to Lake Decatur for a bell ringing ceremony. Brandon? Gabby, thank you.